Hello everyone. Uh, hello again. My name is Sunil Sodi and uh, today in this video, I'll be sharing with you how to install Selenium WebDriver. And also we'll be installing SpecFlow and uh, Chrome Driver. So it's very simple. I'll just give you uh, a very simple walkthrough. So what you do first is just create a new project or if you have a project existing which you need to install uh, these three things you can easily do that but uh, I'll show you from scratch so I have I'll select unit test project and uh, let's give any name to it and I'll just click on OK button so now this is just it's creating a simple unit test project but if you want to use selenium web driver and specflow to this project we have to do a few things and uh, it's very simple so basically what you do is uh, on the right hand side under reference what you do is you simply click on right click on references and you will see manage nuget packages so select this manage nuget packages and once you select this by default it's actually selected uh, installed so but you don't need to be under installed if you want to install a new fresh nuget package you have to click on browse so when you click on browse and over here we search for the packages we want to install so in this case we need to install selenium web driver so what you do is just simply type selenium over here and press enter so when you press enter, the first thing you will see is Selenium Web, Web Driver. So whatever the latest version is, I would say go ahead and install it. So click on install button. So this will install the latest Selenium Web Driver for this project, for this test project. And I would also recommend install uh, Selenium support. So if you want to read uh, what's uh, what's in it and uh, what's under selenium web driver you can actually uh, go to this project url and you can read actually the documentation uh, but uh, for now i'll just i'm showing you how to install it so i'll just click on install button and now we have installed if you see now these two things are green and if you go under install it will show you we have installed selenium support and selenium web driver which are required for automation testing you need selenium web driver when you have to automate using selenium tool and we need to install uh, specflow also so it's uh, another uh, another uh, nuget package you can install simply by uh, typing specflow and same thing press enter and you will see over here specflow uh, first one you go ahead and you can uh, install this one by tech talk you just Click on install button so this will install the spec flow and also you can install uh, with spec flow you can also install spectrum so this is also used actually uh, it's a smart integration test runner for spec flow so you can go ahead and install this one as well you don't really need to install this one but i'm just showing you if you need to install this is how uh, you should install simply by selecting this and clicking on the install button and uh, now if we notice if you see under reference we have now spec run then we have spec flow we have web driver web driver support so it's already reference to this project so now if we have to write any automation test script we can simply use um, use this references to uh, automate our uh, script so this is how you actually install your uh, uh, nuget packages uh, into projects so simply right clicking on references and and going to manage nuget packages and if you want to see um, what nuget packages you have installed uh, for this particular project so you just simply click on install and uh, remove this one because it only shows uh, this thing specflow now you will see uh, these are the uh, packages we have installed for this project to use so that's pretty pretty much it you know it's really straightforward uh, thank, uh, thanks for watching my video um, the next session we'll go through uh, more details about selenium automation testing thank you very much